Welcome back. One of the cool features of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is that it supports Linux. And here I've deployed CentOS up in Azure as a Linux server, and I'm gonna deploy Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to it. Now we're gonna use a manual method as opposed to the enterprise management methods using Puppet or Ansible. And we're gonna run through together how to get this deployed. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at our cheat sheet here, our document that describes how to do this. Now, at the very beginning of this document, there's some really important text where it talks about configure the Linux software repository. And it's gonna have you pick from one of the update channels, Insiders Fast, Insiders Slow, or Prod. For this demo, I'm gonna choose Prod. And then scrolling down, I'm gonna find the section that's relevant to my Linux distro. So on my machine here, I'm using CentOS. And we're gonna run sudo yum install yum utils to install yum utils. Now, I've already done this myself, so um, I'm gonna spare that from you. The next thing I'm gonna run, though, is this command to go and pull down the repo where the Defender for Endpoint software lives. Now, when I paste that in here, it's gonna leave me with some variables I have to fill in. So we're gonna start with slash config slash the name of my distro, which is CentOS, slash the version, which is version eight, and then slash the, uh, the update um, channel, which is going to be prod. And I'm gonna hit enter. And it's gonna add that repo. Next, we're gonna scroll down a little bit and the next command we're gonna run is install the Microsoft GPG public key. So let's do that. And then we're gonna make, download and make usable all metadata for the currently enabled YUM repositories. This is making me hungry. And then that's gonna get installed. So we'll let that cook for a moment. And then I'm gonna scroll past the instructions for the other distros and we're gonna get down to the actual application installation. So let's go past UBN and Debian, Ubuntu and Debian rather, and uh, get down to application install. Now I'm going kind of slow because this is a remote desktop session to a Linux VM in Azure. So there's a little bit of a latency here. And then we're gonna install this. So sudo yum install mdatp. And now it's gonna go through and get that installed. Now I've already done this, so um, that's why it's not installing anything, but on your end, it'll probably take a few moments for it to install from that repository. And then after that, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and, and then we're just gonna do a yum repo list. Man, this is really making me hungry now. And I can see that I've installed uh, two packages. Now, this is my lab environment, so I already installed FastProd and then prod. Okay, and let's scroll through this a little bit past the other distros. And now it's time to download the onboarding package from the Defender Security Center website. So I've already logged in here, went to settings, went to onboarding, and under onboarding, zoom out just a tad here so we can see what we have to work with. Under onboarding, I chose my operating system. Let me zoom out. Sorry, we'll just resize the window. Uh, under onboarding, I'm gonna choose Linux server and I'm gonna choose deployment method as local script. And then I'm gonna download that onboarding package, which I've already done. So now at this point, we need to run the onboarding package. Run an ls-l so we can find this thing. There's the zip file for the onboarding package. And we're going to run uh, unzip and then the name of the file all right and now we're going to run the python file so let's just copy that and we're going to run python 3 paste in the file name nope Forgot to run it as sudo. Try that one more time. There we go. Uh, 
And so now it should be talking to our tenant. So let's go over to our tenant, click on the question mark, and actually, sorry, we're gonna click on the people icon. Our org ID starts with four echo four delta. So let's run our command here, mdatp health, whack whack field. Whoops, let's just do mdatp health. And then org ID for echo four delta, that's our org. So it looks like it's talking at this point. So now it's time to run a detection test. So following the instructions here, we're gonna run a command to make sure real time and protection is enabled. And it's set to true, so that's good. And we're going to scroll down just a little bit more. Whoops, too much. And we're gonna copy this command, this curl command, paste it in. And that's going to generate a, uh, a test alert for us using an EI car file. And then we're gonna jump over to the Defender Security Center. And let's go over to our machine list. And we'll give this a few moments to update. And now we can see that after a couple of minutes, the Linux server in Azure is now populated. Here's the host name, that's sent OS. When we click on it, open up the device page, we can see that the alert we generated from the EI car test file shows up. So that validates that the server is communicating with the Defender for Endpoint service. And we just deployed Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to Linux. Now it doesn't stop here. If we go back to the documentation, there's a couple of things I wanna show you. The first one is under update. Each version of Defender for Endpoint for Linux has an expiration date. It will no longer continue to protect your device at that date. So you need to make sure you update it. And to see the expiration date, it's just a matter of running this command. It's typically uh, about a year or so out. So just make sure you understand that. And then to update it, you just run the appropriate command per your Linux distro. So for me on CentOS, I would run sudo yum update mdatp. Obviously, if you're using Puppet or Ansible, you can you know, update this uh, at an enterprise level. Next, under configure, there's gonna be some things you're gonna to wanna to take a look at, such as configuring exclusions, which makes sense. Being able to do static proxy discovery. In case you need to uh, go through a proxy server to get out to the internet. Uh, under set preferences, this is where you can continue to uh, fine tune how the agent behaves and turning on and off things such as passive mode and being able to turn on and off things like real time protection. Detect and block uh, PUAs or potential unwanted applications. So you're going to want to review that and then do any kind of scheduled scans. So after you get it installed, either manually or through your enterprise management tool, make sure you understand how to get it updated and then how to configure it uh, so that you can make it work for you. And by the way, this configuration, again, you would probably run this through Puppet or through Ansible or whatever your management tool is. Okay, folks, well, that is really it. Hope you found value in this. Hopefully it helps you out in understanding how to deploy Microsoft Defender for Endpoint for Linux. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, give me some feedback. Are you doing this? Have you used it? What do you think? Um, or have you tried the enterprise deployment methods? Let me know your feedback there as well. If you're a Linux person and you're maybe a Linux admin, uh, which I only know enough to be dangerous. I by no means am an expert on this. But if you are, I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think about this. Okay, well, we have a lot more videos coming. So be sure to hit subscribe. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.